So how do you make the adsorption process happen, the, the separation process happen? Well, there are a number of different ways. You can make it batch-wise, and then you can do it in a tank. So you put the, the liquid and, uh, and the solid, the adsorbent, together, and then you stir it somehow, and then you separate it. You can do it in a column, uh, and this will be our focus in this course. Uh, batch-wise in tank and batch-wise in column. You can also do it uh, continuously and you can do it in a moving bed. So you have both the adsorbent, the, the solid material moving and the, the liquid moving or the gas if that's the case. This is however often tricky uh, to get the, the solid material to move in, in a good way. So a way around that is to have a simulated moving bed where you have two or more uh, columns. Uh, the more you have, the more similar to a real moving bed you get. And then you switch. Uh, so in the simplest case, you only have two columns. So first uh, you take the feed into one of them and you make the adsorption happen. And when the product starts to come out, then you change the valve here. So the feed now goes into the other column that is still empty that, uh, in, in the sense that it doesn't contain any adsorbed material. It contains an adsorbent, but not no adsorbed stuff. Uh, and while you then uh, adsorb uh, in this column, you send another liquid or gas, if you have a, a gas, uh, to elute, to get it to desorb. Please note that if the feed is a liquid, then uh, the elution uh, fluid must also be a liquid. And if the feed is a gas, then the elution, liquid, uh, the elution fluid also must be a gas. You can't mix the two because what would happen then is that you, well, first you fill it with liquid and then you have to remove all the liquid with a gas. Uh, that's really problematic. Uh, in the column method, there are two different sub uh, versions of this. You can do it as a peak separation, which is really, really common in in analytical chromatography, but also uh, actually rather common in preparative chromatography of uh, some pharmaceuticals. What you do then is that you send in a pulse containing your, uh, your substances, so for example A and B, and you set it up in such a way that most of B comes out first and then comes A, so that you can in the outlet, take the first droplets that come out and collect that as substance B and the dot comes later as substance A. And of course, you, you can have more than two components and you have to just divide your outlet into several different small volumes. Uh, we won't actually look much into this in this course. We will instead uh, look at the method where you actually saturate the column or partly saturate. Uh, so here you instead feed uh, with a constant concentration of A. So you start with a column uh, which is regenerated, so essentially nothing adsorbed. And then you feed it with a constant concentration of A and you continue until you almost have saturated the column and uh, the substance A starts to come out. And then you elute uh, the adsorbed material by uh, letting a, some liquid or gas, if you have uh, gas uh, adsorption, to flow in the opposite direction. Uh, the calculation focus in, in our course is the degree of utilization uh, of, the, of the adsorption capacity in the column. 